Okay, everybody, it is, uh, it's me, yeah. And it's also Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. Couple things going on that we need to pay attention to. Let's start off with the markets. Right now, stock futures are pointing towards a flat open. 10-year yield lower, dollar lower. Okay, so there's a nice setup here. Um, crude oil under a little bit of pressure, despite the fact that OPEC said, hey, you know what? We're going to cut production uh, until the next uh, false flag event. We'll see how that plays out. And one is coming. I guarantee it. There's just no doubt about that. Um, Silver is under a little pressure right now. Gold getting bid up. Cryptocurrencies are under a little bit of pressure, despite the fact, yet again, it's going more mainstream. So Goldman Sachs, the Wall Street super bank, is going to offer Bitcoin and other cryptos to their wealth management customers. Imagine my surprise. Explain to you this was going to happen. And here it is. And it's not going to stop here. Uh, there's just no doubt about it in my mind. You're going to see this go more mainstream. And then, you know, people will adopt it again. More, more more use for it moving forward and then maybe people will change their mind but cryptos people they're going up they're going up uh like i've been telling you since almost time and freaking memorial here so that's the story today uh you know let's see what they pull off with regard to this market and everything else connected to it it's 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 actually interesting to me i i sit here every day and i say okay what are they going to do let's watch the dynamics play out because this whole thing Nothing is independent of another thing. It's all kind of like a flow. Uh, just watching where cash is going, uh, watching the markets play out. They're completely fake. Realizing what the Fed is doing right now, the grand scheme, the grand plan, uh, how they every single day are moving closer to their final solution which is to own it all, how people have no idea what's really going on. They're being distracted with scamdemics, vaccines, blah, 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 free fall economy. None of this matters. Uh, it, it's an amazing thing to watch people get caught up in this entire charade. They think it's real. They have no idea what's going on. It, it makes me laugh. But what, what else would you expect in a society that has been 100% thoroughly and completely dumbed down. People don't know how to walk and chew gum at the same time anymore. It's really the truth. And that's how they get taken advantage of. And then they cry about it. And then they literally sit back when, when the whole thing becomes very real, for which it will. It's gotten real for many people right now. And they sit and cry about it. I didn't see this coming. Why didn't anybody tell me? I don't get it. You gotta be kidding me. But it's always the same story. It'll never stop. And uh, it's just fun to watch. It, it It's pathetic. Absolutely freaking pathetic. It's, it's a freak show. And they're all part of it. Not you. Not me. We have a clear understanding as to what is happening around us. What's going on. Why they're doing it. What the end game is. What they're going to pull off. So we can stay ahead of the curve. And we're going to stay ahead of the curve. Uh, so far ahead of the curve, that is just frankly ridiculous. All right, so let's summarize real quick. Stock trading didn't start for about, whoa, getting late, 15 minutes. Stock futures is set for a flat to slightly lower open. However, 10-year yield lower, dollar lower. That's a setup for stocks to move up. Crude oil under a little bit of pressure. You know how this works. They got a bit up crude. Let's see what they pull off today. OPEC. Announcing production cuts. Ah, we'll see how that plays out too. Again, they're going to need another false flag. They need another false flag to prop up crude in this free fall environment. Crude has no bearing, no bearing on reality. Where crude is right now, uh, crude should be like, I don't know, <laughs> 15 bucks a barrel. That's the real price. But, you know, it's at 61, 60 bucks because it's being rigged to the upside. You know that. Uh, we got Bitcoin going mainstream, Goldman Sachs. We got metals under a little pressure with regards to silver. Embrace it. This is the game they're going to play with us people. It's not going to stop. You know that. But what does it mean for you and me? 
It means opportunity. And that's what this is all about. Anyway, that's it, people. Kind of a short video today. Important, though. Please share it. Get it out there. I'll see all of you later. And I'm looking forward to it.